Outside of our weird little corner of the internet, I find that people are more interested in true ergonomic or split keyboards more than things like my rectangle with the fish, the Kohaku. Today we are showcasing an upgraded split. This is called the Phobos by RGBKB. The showcase is sponsored, but you know my opinion is always my own. I like working with RGBKB because they are straight up passionate about their projects rather than just having cookie cutter designs with a change of logo or making it K-pop themed or something like that. The Phobos is a split keyboard that's similar to the Soul 3. but it's a more ergonomic layout. You have columnar stagger rather than just true ortho. I just turned the big 3-0 recently, so ergonomics are sounding more and more interesting to me. The main thing is how wild this thing can look. If you don't know what the benefit of a split keyboard is, it allows you to fully configure the width of the keyboard per your shoulder width and also a more natural angle. You can even use one side for gaming if you prefer. Over long working sessions, which I'm unfortunately doing again, this can be more comfortable and make your wrists hurt less. Let's talk about the look of this keyboard. Once it's connected, it is RGB hell, and I love it. Per key RGB and underglow RGB to really blast your retinas every which way. A whopping total of 152 RGB LEDs. The middle columns can be switched out for these touch bars or OLEDs, and it's pretty cool. It's a capacitive touch bar, so you can swipe for volume, and you can tap it to control a key. You can also change that to any key map that you want, and it can be controlled via key OK. And best of all, no soldering. A hot swap touch bar. I've honestly been getting a little bored of the standard keyboard offerings, so seeing this hot swappable split keyboard that can do so much is honestly pretty impressive. The ergo aspect wasn't obvious at first, but there is a more columnar stagger like I mentioned rather than true ortho. I tried to use true ortho a handful of times and it wasn't great. I kept missing the bottom row and I could just never find my footing. Using this for a few hours, I immediately noticed that I have less issues with the bottom row ZXCV. That was a huge problem with ortho for me. My primary issue is that with the DSA keycaps, it's a flat profile, but also there is no bar on the F or the G, J, F or the J, and I keep losing my position. It's scooped, but I'm just not used to scooped, and I just have to learn spatially where my fingers are. My first typing test, I hit 61 WPM. And after I just went balls to the wall, I was able to hit 81. But that's only because I swapped the F and the J for GMK cherry profile with the bar. It is very comfortable to type on. I'm just not accurate at all. In terms of sound, the O-ring mounting sounds pretty good. But overall, split keyboards just aren't leading in the sound department. They just sound kind of small. That's because it's half of a keyboard on each side. But it is screwless and magnetic. So freaking futuristic. The go ring goes around the plate so it can be isolated from the case itself and it snaps together using magnets. Nothing crazy in the sound department here but at least it doesn't sound cheap. There's nothing wrong with being small, it's how you use it, okay? The steel bottom makes it feel bigger, hefty, feels the hand. But I'm gonna be honest with you, there's a weird thing about this keyboard. First, you actually put the mid case between the plate and the PCB, which is kind of backwards because normally you just do the plate PCB and then put that in the case. I didn't realize that, so I did the entire thing with touchpad, with stab, with switches, and then realized how to take it all apart and put it back together. <sighs> but at least the touchpad wasn't soldered, right? If it were soldered, I would have given up. To build your own Phobos, it's $100 for the PCB, $100 for the case, and a recommended $10 switch plate. So basically a $210 keyboard if you're gonna provide your own switches, stabilizers, and keycaps. So it's two stabilizers. The split world is a bit more niche, so you can either go cheap and do the full DIY solder through hole, or you can go super full pre-built and spend hundreds of dollars. I think if I were to main a hot swap, it would be one of the hot swap options from RGBKB, Soul 3, Phobos, mostly because it's hot swap. Through hole builds are so freaking stressful because of all the diodes and the assembly and having to make sure you use the right resistors. I hate it. I think RGBKB is offering a unique product in the market. And they're definitely standing by their product and constantly refining. It hasn't been too long since the Soul 3, and this is an interesting remodel and refinement on that board. If you are hesitant on split keyboards because of the ortho, perhaps this columnar staggered split RGB monster can be for you. Let me know what you think of the board in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.